Now we could catch smallmouth bass here, we could catch spotted bass here, we could catch largemouth bass, we could catch crappie, sauger, stripe, a lot of different species of fish hang out right in here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake, Rocky Drake Outdoors. These rib route banks in the fall is a really good place to fish. Them rocks holds heat from the sun, absorbs heat, and that algae grows on them rocks. And these bait fish, they'll come up here and they'll feed off that algae, especially gizzard chat. And these predator fish in this river, they'll come up there and that's where they, they feed on the bait fish. And this time of the year, it's all about food. You're gonna find these fish where the bait is. I'll throw it right up there. Just bring it right down that bank right there. Right in front of one. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Good fish right here. First one of the day. Looks like a smallmouth too. Y'all, I've been sitting right here in this one spot right here. 30 minutes trying to get a bite and then find Yeah, it is smallmouth. Sure is. Look at you. <laughs> I knew there's some fish here. Golly, y'all, look how pretty that thing is. Look at what a pretty fish. I'm going to turn him back. This is the Tennessee River. I'm on Wheeler Lake. And uh, current's flowing just like this right here, down river. And got quite a bit of it. So it should have some fish pushed up over here on this bank. And today, I'm fishing with my ducky rod right there. It's a Silverado. And it's a six foot nine, medium heavy. Y'all can see right there. And this reel right here, it's a Johnny Morris reel from Bass Pro Shop. Y'all can see his name, it says right there, Johnny Morris. And this, this braid right here is 30 pound braid, high vis, Power Pro braid. And I'll show you that later. I got tied on just a minute as soon as I catch this fish. And I got him. Pretty good fish. Pretty good little fish. Oh me. Look here what a white bass. That's a nice white bass. Put him in a live well. Now this leader right here, it's 12 pound Tass Berkeley. And I just got two little split shots on it right there. Y'all can see them right there. And that little hook right there is just a little number two hook. That's all, a little small hook. This leader line is tied on with a little Alberto knot right there. Mr. Alberto invented that knot. All right, let's put one of these manners on. Today, I'm fishing with some gizzard shad here. Them gizzard shad right there, they're about three. They're gonna average about three to five inches long. And I'm just hooking them right up through the lips, just like that right there with this little number two hook. That sun up there is just kind of in and out of these clouds. It's, it's a little bit overcast and a little bit sunny. Usually when you got a real bright sunny day, it slows the bite down big time because these fish move out deeper in the river. And then later in the evening, they'll start moving up shallower. I've been to a couple other places and ain't done no good. So I got hope. There's a fish just jump, chasing a minute right there. I got hope that there's some nice fish right down this little bank, stretch of bank right here. There he is. Uh-oh, yeah. Good in here, boy. I think it's a smallmouth. Oh yeah, smallmouth. It's either smallmouth or mean mouth, one or two. Look at him right there, y'all. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, come on up here, smallmouth. Yep. <clears throat> Look at that, what a pretty little fish. Let's put that back in there. I'm gonna show y'all now. I'm fishing out of this extreme bait tank here. Now this is the best bait tank on the market by far. If you're gonna live bait fish, real important to keep your bait really lively. And this extreme bait tank right here does the job. I mean, it's just no doubt about it. It's just the way it works. Real important to keep you a lively minute on the end of that hook. You'll get 10 times the bites with a lively minnow than you will with the one that ain't got a lot of flop in it. You want a lot of wiggle in that minnow. I'm gonna spot lock with this Ultrax trolling motor at different places down through here so I can fish them real thorough. Uh, I don't think the fish is really on an aggressive bite today, so I'm gonna have to have a lot of patience. Now these fish, they're gonna be laying into the current, with their nose into the current, which is coming down like this. So. So the, the idea thing is to throw it in front of the fish and just bounce it down through here into the fish's face. 
make it as easy as possible for them to just grab that manna. Especially when it's a tough bite like it is today. Uh oh. Oh, we got one on here. I think one just grabbed it. Oh, it did. Yeah, he's on it. Oh no. He's gonna, he done got around something. When, when, that, when, that, when he does that right there, just, just give it some slack. I mean, that's all you can do. And hopefully he'll swim out around it and pull up above it. Hopefully we still got this fish on. Oh, I don't know. Golly. You got around a rock or something down there. Let's just see. Felt like a pretty good one, too. Nope, we ain't gonna get him. No, go on. Matter of fact, I had to break it. <laughs> Lord. It's just part of fishing like this, you know. I mean, it's just, just the way it is. It got wrapped around something and got off. By having this Ultrex trolling motor here, spot locked, it allows me to use this whole length of my boat to my advantage. Because I'm just sitting here in the current. And what I do is I can just throw it out there. Let it start drifting down through here. And as it drifts down through here, I can walk to the back of the boat and just let it swing around the back of the boat. And plus you covered several different uh, depths when you do that. Right now we're in 12 foot of water. I can see right there in the water temperature, 50.34. Oh Lord. Oh yeah, I felt one just, I felt one sniffing on it just then. Oh, we, get, we definitely got one on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this could be a really big fish. Just letting him pull off line. See, they got to get that whole minnow inside their mouth before you can catch them. That hook has to be inside that fish's mouth. Okay, let's see what he is. Pulled it out of his mouth. See there, I didn't let him take it long. I mean, I let him take it a long way, but he got that minnow. See, look here. All I got back was this little number two hook. Right there. This time of the year, these fish will school up in wolf packs in an area like this right here. So they're competing for this food that's in here, this, this bait fish that's in here. So most time when one of those uh, fish grabs your bait and they run out in the river with it like that one just did, it's because they're trying to get that bait away from the other fish that's, that's around them. Because what will happen is that minnow will be hanging out of their mouth and, and I've seen it before, they'll come right up the boat. You'll see three or four fish trying to you know, get that minnow, trying to get that minnow out of that one fish's mouth. I've seen that a lot. So they try, they try to get it away from it. What we got here, Lord? We're gonna walk to the back of the boat. When you walk to the back of the boat, you can let it drift on further. So you get more for your, for your drift. See those two little sinkers I got on there? They're just bouncing the bottom. And that minna is up above them, ever how long the length is from the sinkers to the hook, which is about 18 inches. So they're swimming up above it. And so those fish can see them really good. So I'm gonna drift on back a little bit. And I'll spot lock it again right down here and, and we'll do the same thing we did here. We'll throw up, just cover as much ground down through here as we possibly can. Somewhere down through here, they're gonna be a good fish. All I'm doing is throwing up yonder, letting it drift back down through here. And I'm spot locked here in the river, y'all can see right there. Whew, Lord of mercy, I could tear up a hot dog right there. Lord of mercy. Come on, big fish. Oh, Lord. This could be a good one here. I mean, he got it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Much better fish here. Oh, my gosh. Another big smallmouth. I think, I think it's a big smallmouth. We just caught that one just right up there. What is this? What is this? I think it is a big smallmouth. If it ain't, it's a giant spotted bass. Oh, it's a good smallmouth. Oh my gosh, what a smallmouth. Yeah, hell, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right here. I mean, oh, we're, about to, we're about to get Bubba out on this one. <laughs> Look at here. So you don't never know where these fish are gonna be. Sure don't. Oh, that's a good solid fish right there for sure chunk of a fish. We'll oh, see what this one weighs here. Oh, Bubba. Yep. 
fairly new scales. I weighed a few fish with them, but uh, we're going to weigh this one for sure. I got him in the spinner tank here. You know what? This is, folks, this is actually a mean mouth. Let me show you right here. See that little spot on his tongue right there? Yeah, that's 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 the signs of a, of a mean mouth right there. Show sure it. Cross between a spot and small mouth. We're going to hook him up here. Okay, now let's cut these scales on. Okay, now. Okay, let's see what let's see what this pretty pretty thing weighs here. This fish here weighs four pound one ounce. Tell you what, that's a fine fish right there. Right there, about as pretty a fish as you'll see. Look at that pretty thing. Beautiful shape to it. Nice fish, four pounder. Out here on the Tennessee River. We're actually on Wheeler Lake right here. And uh, I'm fixing to turn this fish loose. Let's catch nothing. Yeah. Fish, you just don't know how much I appreciate this. Look how clear that water is. When you're fishing in this river like this right here, with a lot of current, any little thing that them fish can get behind down in there. So there might be a, one rock down there. A lot about three or four fish behind it to break the current. Anything. A little old dip, like a little old hill, like a dip. They'll get in behind that. So that's kind of what you kind of look for. You think, well, why in the world would them fish be out here? Well, they just laying out there chilling, waiting on a minute to float down through here. That's all they're doing. Might be one on here. Oh yeah, everyone just grabbed it. Oh yeah, he got it. Yeah, see there? Oh God, y'all see that? Lord, I felt that plumb up my elbow. He just got it by the tail, just running with it. Just running up here with it. Always keep your belt open that way. If he pulls on it, you can just drop your finger and let that line off, see, like that right there. Just give him a little line. Let's see if we can put a hook on him. Fill up the slack. Make sure he's still on there, which he is. There we go, we got him. That's a pretty nice fish. I want you to let that man stick out of that fish in Oh yes. Nice little spotted bass here. Now sometimes when these big boats come by, like that barge right there, it creates a lot of waves sloshing up against here sometimes especially smallmouth it'll fire them up and uh and spotted bass like i got one on right here right now what it does it washes minnows up up against the bank over here these fish just laying over here i ain't let it go i got nothing on right here <laughs> sure do <laughs> i think the majority of these fish are not all that big but you don't ever know what's mixed in there with them. See, that's the thing. Oh yeah, see him, see him pull that pole down. Watch this right here, see him, see him out here on the end of it. Yeah, see him pulling. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There we go. This is a pretty good fish here. Oh yeah. It's a nice fish right here. Yeah, it's a nice one. Goodness, nice body bass bow, oh lord. He got that big minnow hanging out of his mouth too. Look at that. See that right there? <laughs> That's a nice body bass right there. Sure is. I'll take that in there any day. This weather just can't make up its mind what it wants to do. One minute it's sunny, one minute it's cloudy. I don't want to put my coat on or take it off. One minute the wind's blowing, one minute it's not. Yeah, we got one on. Got a little windy here. Sure do. Let's see what he is. Oh, what we got? He jumped. Hey, it's a little small mouth. Look here. That's a pretty little small mouth. Hey, <laughs> I love catching. Love catch it it's my my bass yeah in case you're ever in the north alabama area and you need a place to launch your boat it's called dead old landing nice ramps folks that work down here just super nice super helpful 
and there's some great fishing out here on the Tennessee River as you've seen today. Folks, appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Yeah.